Hi again, guys. I um, just wanted to show some front TT gear mesh on a Gowie X5 and what I think it should be set like. Um, this one's already preset. I'll just show you quickly what sort of backlash there is on it. Uh, what I'll do is I'll hold that gear so it doesn't move anywhere. And here, you can see there's the slightest amount of play they're very slight yeah you know, just enough to give it a little bit of reading room and I've got no head on this heli at the moment so really what I do is I set them right in and then I just play with it just a hair and a hair to lay it out you don't want it too tight and you also definitely don't want it too loose um, too loose or wear out in no time and You'll end up with no gears going on. I just loosen the boom off for a second. All right, so we'll do some examples of how not to set the mesh. If I just pull the boom out a bit, see what I find is a lot of people set it too loose, and then you get all sorts of fun stuff. So right now, she spins good, but you actually can hear it. If you can hear that, and if you can see, I'll try to get in the light. The gear teeth don't quite line up. And then the other thing is, people push it in and they get it too tight. I can't spin that, it's way too tight. And again, it feels notchy, but I'll show you. Holding that gear still, we have absolutely zero backlash there. So what I normally do is I get it out and you go in and then just bring it out of here and then check it and you know what we're pretty close. Got a slight amount of backlash there. So if we spin it she's nice and smooth. Again hope that helps. Yeah, just a bit of a tip of what not to do when you put your boom clamps on. Don't put your rudder control guide between it and the boom. Doesn't work very well.